Tuna War recipes, here we come. And to launch the Tuna War recipe series, I'm gonna to introduce to you guys a brand new grilled American tuna burger. Oh my God, it's insane. And I'll tell you the best part of this, and you're gonna absolutely love it. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna teach you guys a very simple method that you can do at home to turn your tuna into ground fish, or any fish into ground fish. I, I started my coals on my barbecue, that should take about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, let me grab a piece of fish. This weighs three quarters of a pound to a pound. We'll see how many uh, tuna patties we can get out of this. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up this vacuum pack. This wonderful tuna. There we go. Now, believe it or not, we're gonna bring in our super secret instrument, handheld grater. Okay, frozen tuna, handheld grater. See that right there? That is ground fish. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like hamburger meat, doesn't it? Well, you can do the same things with this. You can make tacos, burritos, bolognese, spaghetti and fish meatballs. And by the way, we'll be forming up hamburger patties with this, and because it's cold, they're gonna form up even better and they're gonna stay as one cohesive unit on our grill or in our frying pan or as a meatball. So this is a super, super efficient way of creating ground fish. Otherwise, you have to buy a meat grinder and grind your own fish, it's crazy. Okay, so my hands are starting to get cold. I'm gonna go and rinse them off right now and warm them up a little. That's the only downfall to this method, but believe me, it's well worth it. So this requires a little bit of elbow grease, but it goes by pretty quick. You can do this in about five minutes. How's that for efficiency? So the next step is we're gonna take all this wonderful ground tuna that's still ice cold, put it in our mixing bowl. We're gonna add some herbs, we're gonna add some seasoning, and we're gonna turn this puppy into the most outrageous, freshest, unbelievable tuna burger you've ever had. So hold on tight. Wow, wow, look at that, wow. All right, we've got all of our ingredients. Let's start creating our tuna burgers. Okay, first, we're gonna need a tablespoon of salt. And then a tablespoon of some black pepper. We're gonna need one egg. All right, we're gonna need an eighth of a cup of breadcrumbs. I've got panko breadcrumbs. You can use ordinary breadcrumbs, but please do not use pre-seasoned breadcrumbs. We don't wanna muddy up the flavors here. This is strictly an American flavored tuna burger. Okay, we're gonna need a half a lemon. And last but not least, the dill, probably about a tablespoon and a half of dill. Bingo. Okay, it's time to mix. So the first thing I wanna do is I like mixing up this egg first. Okay, and then just start to incorporate and mix everything. So the breadcrumbs and the eggs are gonna help everything glue together when we make our patties. And the fact that it's cold, ice cold, that's gonna help everything glue together as well. Okay, I've wet my hands. I always wet my hands before I make any kind of patties. Hamburger patties, doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna try and take, oh, I don't know, probably about a hard ball, a hard ball size piece of meat. Use my thumb to make the edges. Flatten it out, and there's one. Oh. 
another hardball shape. Flatten it out. Use my thumb right here to make the edges. Flatten it out. There's two. So this must have been about three quarters of a pound of tuna. If I had a pound of tuna, I could have got four. Okay, so there's three and I barely have any left over. All right, it's time to move to the grill. So listen, the key to keeping these burgers formed and not falling apart is to make sure they're cold. And that's the beauty of taking frozen fish. Now, while you're doing everything, if this takes a little longer than you thought, and you start to feel your hamburgers starting to fall apart, put them in the freezer for another five or 10 minutes and firm them up. And that's exactly what happened to me because I'm running around with my camera and so on and so forth. So pop them in the freezer and do that. Now another secret is to take some vegetable oil and lather up the tops and the bottoms. Because remember, there's no fat in this fish. And this will give it a beautiful color, by the way. I'm gonna flip these over. Lather up the other side. You're gonna be amazed to see how quick all this happens. All right, burger number one. Burger number two. And burger number three. There we go. We're gonna lather them up with some more oil right before we flip them. This is not gonna take long. As soon as it gets color on one side, remember you're cooking with tuna. As soon as it gets color on, on one side, we're gonna flip it, let some color on the second side. This is not gonna take any more than four to five minutes tops, I guarantee it. All right, well it's getting really close. It's been about three minutes. I'm gonna just dab just a little more oil. All right, there we go. All right, let's see. See how they came right off the grill? That's because of that oil. Oh, look at that. Wow. Perfect. Let's go for this one here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Just a little oil on the top, just for a nice color and retention of moisture. We're getting really close. You know, this is my absolute favorite, favorite time. It's close to assembly time. Oh, tuna burgers. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect, look at that. You don't want to overcook these. Remember, it's tuna. <laughs> Remember, you can tuna piano, but you can't tuna fish. Back into the kitchen and let's make some burgers. You know, when I was a kid, I used to work in my uncle's burgers for years. He never paid me squat, but whatever. Anyway, I learned to make some burgers. We're gonna make this tuna burger with classic American seasonings and flavors. I'm gonna use a tartar sauce, but it's not actually gonna be, a, it's gonna be a deconstructed tartar sauce. I'm gonna have relish, mayonnaise, of course we've got lemon in the burger, and that's gonna be, and of course we have dill, so just hold on and watch how I assemble this for the classic grilled American tuna burger. Here we go, all right? Sesame seed buns. Bottom half is gonna get some mayo. Whoa. Just like that. Not a lot, but you know, enough to taste it for sure. Okay. Okay, second layer is gonna be some red onion. Beautiful color, there we go. Now we're gonna need some lettuce. Beautiful fresh head of lettuce here. There we go. Some beautiful tomato. And this is about the time that I'd love to add just a tad of salt, because I just can't imagine eating any tomato without a little bit of salt. Just helps bring out the sweetness. Unless, of course, you're lucky enough to have garden tomatoes. Okay, now the burger. There we go. Holy moly, look at that. Okay, now for the relish. 
nice dollop of some sweet relish right on top. Oh man, holy moly. Remember I said this is a classic American, so I fried up some bacon while you guys weren't watching. Some nice thick pieces of bacon. Oh, wow. Okay, the top half of our bun, we are getting very, very close. Oh my God, oh my God. My stomach, shut up stomach, my stomach's growling already. Oh. oh, and bingo, oh my god, there you have it, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. and there you go boys, as classic American as you can get, the all-American grilled tuna burger, the first of my series of tuna war recipes, check it out. This is totally insane. You guys, you've never seen anyone make ground fish like this, and that's the way you can do it with your frozen fish, and who knows what you can come up with. Check us out on our Facebook page. Come up with a recipe or two. Post it on our page, fishermansbelly.com. Oh my God, it's time to eat. It's time to eat. Thanks, boys and girls. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.